Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Universal Studios and we are going to be attending the Orlando Informer Meetup. I am so excited. This is a separate ticketed event that gives us access to both Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. All the food and beverages are included, so that means we are going to have endless butterbeer and then we're also going to be able to do a couple of things that normal guests can't do. So I am beyond excited. Anywho, let's go do this. And here it is, the check-in for this year's Orlando Informer Meetup. I cannot wait to get in there. We'll go over all the details with you guys, but this is seriously such an amazing experience, and I'm so happy that I get to come out and show you guys. The Orlando Informer Meetup happens multiple times a year and it is open to the public so anybody can buy a ticket to actually come to this and like I say this is probably the best way to do Universal Studios. It is so amazing that it sells out so fast so you have to be on it whenever they release the tickets and I'm just excited. I can't wait to show you how much food we get to eat because everything is included so you just walk in to the different restaurants or go up to the food carts and you just take whatever you want and it is so amazing. The next Orlando Informer meetups are scheduled right here. It is November 18th to the 19th, December 2nd to the 3rd, and then December 9th to the 10th. And this is the winter meetup. And there are some tickets available. Some uh, dates are sold out. But I'm going to put all the information in the description below so you guys can check it out. Because if you plan on being here during those dates, you definitely want to come to this. Another really awesome thing that you get to do when you're actually coming to the Orlando Informer Meetup, because you get both parts, you have a special walkway that's opened up, so you can actually walk in between Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios, and you don't have to walk around, and they have the Hogwarts Express open, and I think that's so much fun because it saves on time, so you can park hop pretty fast, like you can park hop probably within like two minutes. The check-in area is right in between Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. And once you get in here, you're going to get your wristband, all your credentials, and then you get to enjoy the park before the event starts. All right, we are all checked in. And like I said before, if you buy an Orlando Informer ticket, you get into the parks as early as 5 o'clock and the event starts at 8 o'clock and it goes from 8 p.m. all the way till 1.30 in the morning and in between those hours it's only Orlando Informer get and it's just so amazing. The wait times, there's almost no wait for rides, all the food you care to enjoy and special experiences only for the Orlando Informer meetup. Some of the exclusive experiences that you get to do at the Orlando Informer this year are a special speakeasy that they have in one of the back studios, a lot of really cool food items, and of course, the ability to ride the Pterodon Flyers over at Islands of Adventure. This is one of the best rides to ride. Normally, adults can't ride it without a child, and during the Orlando Informer meetup, it's the only time you can do it, and we've got the golden ticket. Because the event food doesn't start until 8 p.m., they supply you with a $15 food and beverage card that you can use in the park or even out on city walk in between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. in case you get hungry so that's really awesome that comes with that comes with each ticket you get a $15 food and beverage card so that's just kind of it's just it the benefits they're just out of this world I really do love the speakeasy theme for this year's Orlando Informer Meetup. And like I said, they're going to have a special speakeasy inside Soundstage 33. So that's going to be like the highlight of the night. I cannot wait to check it out. And that opens up at 10 o'clock. So we'll have a little time before that. But I am like, that's probably like the highlighted thing that I'm excited to do. We are going to start over at Islands of Adventure because that starts at 8 o'clock. Well, the Orlando Informer Meetup event starts at 8 o'clock over on this park and then 9 o'clock on the other one because that one's open later. And that way it gives us a little head start on all the good snacks and all the food. And also they have tons of the entertainment that's still on, like the Hogwarts Castle projection show is going to go on tonight, the uh, Frog Choir. There's a lot and it's like a lot. I think I, 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 There's a lot to take in. You can see I'm a little, I'm a little happy, get a little giddy. 
now that we made it to Islands of Adventure, our first stop is going to be right here at Hogshead. And we're going to start off the night with uh, maybe a little beverage. Because, I mean, later on, all the food is going to be free. And the rides are going to have low wait times. So in the meantime, just going to wait around and maybe have a drink. Because we're going to be getting so much food later on, I decided to save my food and beverage card and use it for a, a adult beverage here at uh, Hogshead. Anytime I come to Hogshead, you know I have to get the Deathly Hollows. It's a staple. There it is. Thank you. Take a look at the lighting happening right now. It's like the golden hour. We literally were just walking around and I had to stop and just appreciate how beautiful it is. And we were worried there was gonna be like a storm tonight. Now there still might be a storm in the area, but this is beautiful. Look at the double rainbow happening right now and Velocicoaster. A double rainbow. And now the event or the meetup officially has started. The food is ready, it's time to eat. And I think our first stop here in Islands of Adventure is gonna be three broomsticks over in Hogsmeade. Time for some fish and chips and some chicken. And here we are, three broomsticks. I can't wait to go in and get something to eat, grab some butter beer, maybe a little dessert, maybe like I said, a little fish and chips. The lines seem a little bit long, but that's because everybody's over on Islands of Adventure's side because Universal Studios doesn't start the free food for another hour. So everybody's over here at once, but I wanna kinda get everything done, so we'll knock this out of the way. If you plan on coming to Three Broomsticks to eat, I plan on, I, I would recommend that you come as soon as possible because it's probably the busiest spot probably the whole entire night. Everything is just grab and go. Just grab it and then go, promise. I'm going and I'm grabbing. <laughs> You're grabbing and going, look it. I'll take a little fish right here. I'll take a little chicken right here. We'll take a little bit of everything. Then we're coming down here. Oh, there's a salad there too. <laughs> we're not here for the salad. Oh, what about the cottage pie? Here, I'll put it on your plate. What'd you get? Literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You're a hungry one. Look at my trailer. Look at her. And then you can grab whatever butter beer you want hot, frozen, cold. And it looks like I got the works. <laughs> Look at this tray. This is insane. All right, we're gonna start off with some fish and chips, a little crunch. Very crunchy, holy moly. Mm. Now, wash it down with some butter beer. And a french fry. It's seriously so amazing all the food that you get for this and now I want to dive into this apple pie Look at this They usually have like a pretty consistent menu here, and I remember this being so amazing. Look at that. Oh Much too good The fish and chips is so good though. It was so crunchy. I love it just the way it is the chickens okay, too Sometimes they have ribs, but we're gonna skip that and we're gonna go straight to dessert because we can do that it's the informer meetup. I forgot that they give us these little tiny chairs to sit at the table. And it kind of looks like we're a bunch of kids sitting down. I know. You don't. You look good because you're 6'7". <laughs> <six, seven. laughs> now I got to get into this cottage pie here. Or shepherd's pie. I don't know which one it is. But look at that. Oh, yeah. Refer to the video on the king. After trying basically all the food here at Three Broomsticks, I have to say my favorite is probably the fish and chips, the potatoes that come with the chicken, and of course, the hot butter beer. This is one. I wish I could get a butter beer counter in the corner there because the butter beer counting should begin right now. One hot butter beer. Of course, if you don't want to wait in line at Three Broomsticks and you just want to get straight to the butter beer business, they do have all the stands open. What you got there? Butterbeer, butterbeer, back scratcher, butterbeer. We're gonna actually start moving along and 
uh, an important thing is to pace yourself when you're eating a lot of the food here because you don't want to get full off of just a little bit. So only take a, a little bit. There at uh, the three broomsticks, you kind of just have to have it all. But now on, since we're in a big group, we're going to be sharing a lot of it. And I checked on Hagrid's and it was only a 30 minute wait. And that is pretty amazing. Seriously, that is phenomenal. And if this night couldn't get any better, look at this shirt. That's me. I love it. Thank you so much. That is the best thing ever. <laughs> I think we're gonna actually hop from over on Islands of Adventure to Universal Studios side and we're gonna use the walkway so we can just walk right on over to the other side of the park and I'm excited to get over to Finnegan's and also check out the speakeasy which we have to find out there's a special password to get in. I love when you're able to go backstage and see a little bit of the different like behind the scenes like areas. It's always fun to explore. Gives me the HHN vibes. Promise you said that too. I can't wait. What? I was yep. going to say, we won't be waiting in line. Stage 20 right there, Sean. You know what they used to film there? You didn't count. No, the Jimmy Fallon show. <laughs> That's where they got the elephant doors. What do you mean they filmed the gym? That's where the Jimmy Fallon show. Oh, the ride. No, the show. Two churros and a pretzel. Two churros and a pretzel? On me. It's on me. It's on you? Oh, okay. Oh, no. On the house. That's the, so <laughs> That's the name of her memoir. That's the name of her memoir. Two churros and a pretzel. I've seen without a line, so I ran. Yeah, look at this. Nobody over here. Whoa, fancy. Oh, thank you. oh and chocolate dipping sauce. Yeah, I like it. Kristen inspired me to get a pretzel. I had to. We're right here, so might as well. So pretzels for everybody. <laughs> wow, guys, look at it over here. This is insane. <laughs> Pretzel down. Pretzel down. Lucky you didn't pay for that. <laughs> uh, it was on me. I didn't pay for it. Hi, friends. Thank you. Oh, you're the best. I am a little bit sad because there has been something that I've always went to for every single Orlando Informer meetup that I've been to, and it's always been my go-to, and it's a brisket sandwich, where, and it was at a place that is no longer with us. And oh my lord, look at this. Nobody is out hanging out with Shrek. My friends are there. My friends are hanging out with Shrek. Hi. Hi this is so oh, cool. You know, Shrek wants to be a part of the pretzel game. I'm he doesn't want that. It doesn't got bugs on it. He knows. <laughs> oh. I got I got kisses from Shrek. Yeah, okay. That's the best. <laughs> Thank you. you Thank you. you. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, he no. picks you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, you just wipe it off on me. Oh, thank oh, you. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I want boogers or kisses. Whoa. I'll take both. Huh? <laughs> this is great. Wait a second. I might be able to say a final farewell to the Monsters Cafe. Now, right before I shot this video clip, I was crying because I wasn't going to be able to come to Monsters Cafe for the Orlando Informer. But guess what? It's open. One last Orlando Informer meetup, my friend. We're going to get the brisket sandwich. I am so excited. Oh, I didn't think it was going to be possible, but here we are. This is, this makes me so happy right now. Oh. Yes, do you have the brisket sandwich? Looks like we've got chicken, french fries, mac and cheese. Look at this. Cornbread. Oh, can I have a cornbread too on there? No mac and cheese. Yeah. There we go. And some Brussels sprouts too. This is one of the best meals I think I've ever had. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I am so happy that we got to be here, guys. I got some chicken, some fries, some brisket. You know, I had to get the brisket. Cornbread, Brussels sprouts, the works. Look at that. Now, you could get like uh, brisket mac and cheese, but I just skipped that. It was actually very good too. Yeah, you liked it? I, liked it, yeah. I just went straight meats. <laughs> I just went, can I just have the brisket? Hold the mac? Nate's on a protein diet. Yeah, protein only. 
like I said, they didn't have my brisket sandwich, but at least they have the brisket, and that's all I care about. Mm. And then the french fries, much too good. <laughs> this is gonna be my last time eating in a Monsters Cafe. I'm so happy that this is happening right now. I'm gonna miss it so much though, I really love it in here. I'm pretty sure that it's gonna pop back up in the epic universe. I know Promise is loving this too. I just, I thought we were never gonna get a yeah. second chance. And we're we got get it. Last chance. last chance right here. We can't stay long though, we have to keep moving. We have to pace ourselves, but gotta say goodbye. Say goodbye to the Monster Cafe. Over here is Dracula. Goodbye, Dracula. Okay, we said our official goodbyes to the Monsters Cafe. Now it's time to make it back to the speakeasy. And to get in the speakeasy, there's a secret passcode. Like, you know what I mean? It's a speakeasy, so there's a password. And we've already cracked it, but there are, you know, puzzles to find out what it is. So I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is in case you plan on coming and the speakeasy returns. But it's back here, and we're gonna check it out for the first time. As you're trying to get into the speakeasy, you have to be on the lookout because there are some suspicious fellas walking around questioning people. So be very, very careful. Suspicious, 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 We're just here for a church service, sir. Oh, oh. Yes. I'm here for the newspaper. Are you, uh, yeah. For the newspaper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's very nice. We're inquiring. Inquiring minds. In inquiring minds. What's the inquiring about? Well, I'm, 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 I'm not inquiring. We're innocent citizens. Well, we just that's, are. How that's was, how was you? Now, when I came in, I said I would be asking the questions. Oh! <laughs> 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 I think he thinks. <laughs> 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 I don't want the paddywagon. I don't want the paddywagon. No, 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 no paddywagon, then you. Take me to church. Yep. Take me to church. Thank you. Thank you. Proceed. Oh, you guys don't know the password, do you? Hey. Yeah, you're telling everybody. I'm gonna have to bleep that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely beat that part, Nate. Come on in, Nate. Let's go. Okay. Right? Be careful in there. Watch out for the ladies. They'll empty your pockets. First. Yeah. Well, 86 them. <laughs> Come on inside. All right? You and me? How's it going? All right. All right. I think, and it was on a feather. That's a very uh, interesting story. What does that have to do with anything? Um, <coughs> we, we're flocking together. <coughs> mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> we'll 86 them. Very nifty. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, keep, your, keep your voices down. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> Mind your P's and Q's. Tap me on the shoulder? <laughs> Forget about it. How you doing? Forget like, about it. Just Welcome having a civil conversation. conversation. Just Thank you. Care of this laundry. Exactly. It's Don't a worry about a thing. Get a drink. Yeah, just you enjoy yourself. Over I there. Know. Someone needs the 80 you, 60s you fellas. You hide it. No, no. You hide it. You hide it. Give me this. Yo, this be fine. Just, just fine. Get a drink. Look, here. there's booze. You know, Go. Right. Yo, look, there's booze. <laughs> I'm Charlie. I'm Chuckles. I'm Chuckles as I'm known by these Chuckles. Closet. Chuckles. Can I tell you a few jokes? Tell me a joke. I'll tell you a few jokes. Come stand over here. It makes the jokes better. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you call fake spaghetti? An impasta. Oh, how dare you! Uh, you know <laughs> All right. What's a mob boss's favorite coffee drink? Uh, I don't know. Al Frappuccino! Oh! Where does the mafia go to college? What's the matter, you? Bingo! Uh, what's the matter, you? Bing Have bong! A great night. Bing bang! <laughs> 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 
looks like they're serving up Manhattans, espresso <laughs> martinis, and then of course they got the White Claws and the Bud Lights. But I think we're gonna do an espresso martini and maybe a Manhattan for you, sir. I'm feeling it. Espresso martinis. That looks too good. Much too good. <laughs> <laughs> he is a rat. He ratted me right out. Wow. I gotta get away from you right now. <laughs> you I say, sir. who are you with? You say, forget about it. You're with me? <laughs> He's not with on. me. I'm a connected guy. Well, we got to who do you know? Oh, I don't know. You know the boss? What's your name? <laughs> Shut up. He's not a friend of ours. He's not a friend of yours? <laughs> He's not a friend of ours. <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know this guy? Yeah! Okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's, uh, Slim Jim. 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 That's the guy. Slim Jim. Oh, and they got some live music here. Cheers. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? What is it? It's a new dance. You know what they're doing? Listen, don't listen to that guy. He's a rat. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> like Slim Jim. That's Slim Jim. That's, that's like Slim. I know it. They don't know me on the north side. They don't know me on the north side. Is he a friend of mine or a friend of ours? He's a friend of ours. Oh, okay. All right. He's a friend of ours. Oh, he's a friend of mine then. All right. All right. Good, good. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> when did you get out? Okay, let me tell you about this guy. This guy. I want to be a little. This guy. This guy. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Oh, see? I know I like work with this guy. How you doing? I'm Don Bottomy. This is my club. Oh, this is your club, eh? Yeah. Oh, all right. I like it. Much. You know, I run legitimate business. Very legitimate. Mostly imports, exports, bring things in, get rid of things. Ah, I heard he was a rat, though. Say two talls a rat? Yep, I hear two talls a rat. You were singing. You were singing. You were singing. I was singing it all the time. It is taking all of my strength to leave the speakeasy. I felt like heaven in there. Honestly, it was the greatest time ever, but there's so much more to do here. Orlando Informer and Taylor, guys, that's a home run. That was the best thing I think I've ever like had here at one of these events, at Universal Studios in general too. So, so amazing, and everyone that worked in there, all the entertainment, bravo, bravo. Don't tell them the password, Kristen. <laughs> Don't tell her the password. Uh, yeah. Don't tell him we sent you. <laughs> Don't tell him we sent you. <laughs> no, tell him Slim Jim Sean sent you. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for Finnegan's. And you guys know it wouldn't be a trip to the Orlando and former meetup without stopping to Finnegan's. Oh, here it is. I'm a little bit sad, I have to say, 
It looks like the wingies and the bread pudding isn't here this year. They have a buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese. They've got some pierogies. Now there is buffalo like chicken tenders in here in the mac and cheese itself. So I'm gonna grab some of it, but I might, I might miss my wings and bread pudding. Oh my Lord, there is hope in the world. The bread pudding is here. And I am so excited. Look at this. Look at this amazing deliciousness. We're gonna scoop a nice big helping. Scoopsy bread pudding. Pop it right there. And then of course, the bread pudding whiskey sauce. Look at this. That's the only way. There is hope though, like I said, here it is. It's piping hot too. Lots of whiskey sauce. Look how hot that is. Look at the steam. Holy moly. It's actually pretty good. I love this bread pudding so much. I don't know why. Um, because it's, it's delicious. Warm and tasty. Bread and it's so warm. It's like literally like so hot. Like you can see the steam just piping off there right now. And it's going to be in my stomach. It's going to be in my belly. But Louis is right next door and they got the pizza and the pasta and the one meatball. As much as I love that bread pudding, we have to keep moving. Louis is right around the corner, like I said. And then we still have to get over to Islands to ride the Pterodon Flyers. It's gotta happen. We're gonna fly. Also, they have the special margarita fries here. So we have uh, a uh, Orlando Informer exclusive. They look good. Look at this. I'll take them. I'll take 12. It looks like in Louis they got the fettuccine alfredo with chicken, the meatball sub, the warm garlic breadsticks, the pizza, and the margarita fries. Oh, I don't want one. Can I get a pepperoni slice? And then the margarita fries? The meatball sub? Yeah. Oh, yes. Look at that. What? <laughs> Honestly, tonight has been such a fun night full of food, but you really got to take advantage of all these great like opportunities to try food you never got to try. And I'm going to start off with the margarita pizza fries because they're special. Look at these bad boys. We're just going to grab a nice one right here. Get a little bit of everything on there. It looks like we got some pesto, some balsamic vinaigrette. That's a big word for Elmo. It's a pizza fry. Now take a look at the meatball sub. Look at that. Oh, the bread is so crunchy and the cheese is melty. Listen, ready? Can you hear that? Much too good. One meatball. That is so good. Now it's time for the pizza. The pizza. The undercarriage is pretty bad here. Lots of flop. Look at this flop. I mean, that's... That's a floppy, floppy pizza, but here we go. Huh? You ever take that first bite of pizza and the cheese comes sliding off and smacks you in the bottom lip and burns you? That's exactly what just happened to me. Ooh, got a little pepperoni here. Louis, I love you, but we gotta get going. The margarita pizza fries were really good though. I did like that new addition. Hi friend. It was really good. I mean, it's kind of like a twist in the pizza fries, but a little balsama, balsamic vinaigrette. <laughs> Before that though, we have to stop at the hospitality booth here. We gotta get our button. Aloha, there it is. Yes, hello, hello, hello. How to come over and get the, uh, the buttons. All right, the button has been obtained. Now, Diagon Alley. Let's take a look inside the leaky cauldron here. Let's see what they have to offer. One of my favorite things about coming to the Orlando Informer Meetup is you get to try all of the Harry Potter drinks. And normally that would cost you so much money because you have butterbeer, frozen butterbeer, hot butterbeer, pumpkin juice, tangy tying lemon squash, otter's fizzy orange juice, fishy green ale, peach tea fizzing tea, and gilly water. So you just kind of grab and go. They have them all ready and just grab. All right, look, our collection is complete. We've got the peach tea fizzing tea, which is right there. Then we've got the uh, 
fishy green ale, which is this green one right here. Then we've got the tongue-tying lemon squash. Then we've got the pumpkin juice. And then we've got the otter's fizzy orange juice. And then we've got hot, cold, and frozen butterbeers. The Harry Potter challenge. Believe it or not, this is not my first time trying this, but here is the peach one. Oh, that's good. I always like that one. The fishy green ale, and it's got little fish eggs at the bottom. I do not like that one. No. The lemon. It's refreshing. <laughs> Then the pumpkin juice. Always love the pumpkin juice. Mm. I don't know how the pumpkin juice tastes after the lemon one. And then the orange juice one. Now, the rim is the important part of this one. What is it? Mm. Is it? Very sweet. <laughs> Very sweet. And of course, all the butter bears. One, two, three, four. Count the counters going. Honestly, that is such a cool experience to do. I've done it before, but you're never gonna be able to do that without paying $100. That whole entire tray was $100 in drinks, and it was cool that we all got to try them. I love it so much. All right, it's time to head back to Islands of Adventure. Yep, time to go. We gotta hurry up. The, you know, you think you have all this time, but it goes by so fast. You're too busy eating a whole bunch of food. Time flies when you're having fun and eating. Yep. <laughs> Can I have a churro and two turkey legs, please? This is sick. <laughs> Thank you. Shaw is just talking about he's not eating anymore. I'm not eating anymore. Said that. <laughs> Thanks for the waters. Well, that's for you. Turkey leg right here. Thank you. Here we go. It's time. <laughs> I honestly ate so much food and now we're going on this. It's like the perfect end of the day. There goes Kristen. There goes that woman. Her first, her first one. film while you're on the ride but I'm gonna film like me and my friends as we're coming off the ride. It's your turn shoddy boy. I haven't been on this call twice. Well you're good. Goodbye Nate. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Now that we got the flyers done, it's time for Jurassic Park. Here we are! Yeah! <laughs> 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 I'm just separating it all out. 
separate it all out. You want two and three, right? Yeah. Go ahead, hop in. I ain't going in the front. I'm going in the front then. You're going number one? I'm going number one. Now, I can't film on the ride, but we can take a selfie at least. That was amazing. That was so much fun. Low key, it was so much fun, even in the dark and by ourselves. I loved it. We got the whole place to ourselves. We got the whole place. You want to go again? No. Sean? No? <laughs> And with that, I think we are done here. Another chapter closed, another Orlando Informer meetup. I love this, guys. I'm sure I talk so highly about it all the time. Uh, I'm gonna put all the links in the description, so if you guys wanna try to get tickets, definitely should try, because they're so, it's, it's such an amazing night. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.